again my rising stars and stellar stunners and welcome back to my channel. I am in the middle of trying to get my taxes done real quick so this is going to be a short little video but I wanted to take a second to share with you guys one of my favorite things ever, thrifting. <laughs> So it has been a while since I have been thrifting, but I felt like I needed to take a pop into my local savers to try to find some new goodies uh, for us on a dime. So I gave myself a $20 budget and I stayed within that thanks to a 20% off coupon and got some really cute stuff for myself and Violet. So let me show you how we did. So this is my savers haul. So this is my giant savers bag that I got that day. I did notice some changes there from the last time that I've been. I guess you you have to bring your bags or buy your bags now, which is fine because I'm usually carrying extra bags anyways for recycling. But I just need to remember this time to bring them in before I go into the store. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I got for Violet first, which is so cute. I found a lot of really good unexpected things there and I'm trying to collect but not hoard items in 3T and 4T for her because she is really tall so she does tend to fit into those things. So I found this. Isn't this the cutest little, what is this, little cape thing? Um, I got this for $3. And this is from Little Lass. Little Lass, and it's $3. And this is just, I thought the color of this was so adorable, I couldn't leave it there. I just, I, I couldn't do that. It's got little snaps on the side so that way she can stick her little arms through. And um, I think this is gonna look so cute in some winter photos with a cute little dress. It wasn't missing a single button or anything. So I was really, I was so pumped to find that. And it has pockets. Yep, little tiny pockets. And she's obsessed with sticking things in pockets. So I was not gonna leave this sitting there for $3. It was just, it was begging to come home. So I brought it. Up next. We have this cute little number, little tool on the bottom of this denim jacket. I was, when we originally went to Savers for this trip, we were looking for a new denim jacket for her because she's kind of outgrown the old one. So I needed something new to decorate for her. Uh, this I'm probably not gonna do any decorating to, but it's actually a good pattern and idea and inspiration for other outfits for her coming up. And it was $4.99, so I wasn't gonna leave it there. Um, Rare Edition is the brand, and this one is in 2T, so this will fit her now. So cute. Just too cute. I, I am such a big fan of these little gemstones on it, and I actually have a hot fix tool that I have been dying to use, but don't have enough, like, time for, if you know what I mean. But the back of this is really just begging for me to hot fix some more crystals on the back. Maybe write her name, maybe just fill in a whole block. I'm not sure yet, but it's begging for some things. This was a cute little find that I wasn't going to leave there either. Of course, I feel like a lot of the stuff in Savers is really hit and miss price-wise. Some of it is really... Um, reasonably priced and some of it's just like why are you charging that much for it so it just there were a lot of items that i wanted to get for her but i just kept passing on because i was like this is really actually overpriced for thrift this is supposed to be thrift not like i i know these are like new but they're still used they still have stains on them and i know it's a designer brand but it's still a thrift item anyways i'm getting sidetracked another cute little top I love the sleeves on this, the little bell sleeves, and the color is so cute. $1.99. $1.99. It's just, it's a Cat and Jack shirt. This was in such good condition, I wasn't going to pass it up. And it was actually an item that she pulled off of the hanger herself. So I was like, okay, you like this? Go on with your bad self. 
these. I am so torn on whether or not she needs to be wearing like denim pants. But the pattern is adorable. Again, these are from Cat and Jack. $3.29 for these. Not terrible. Tons of pockets. I like the little heart detailing on it. Again, I might take some time to go crazy with my hot fix on these and add a little but dazzling to them at some point because I feel like they're they're missing something but these were adorable and she pulled these off the hanger too so I was like okay her coat seems to have disappeared already so I actually so I actually had to just go stop and look for this jacket because I was like having this moment where I'm like oh I'm oh bad mom moment like I, I let her take the jacket out before I get to film it and da 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 nope I actually did did give her the jacket because I took some time to modify it a little bit. So I did film it. This is a clip of it before I started working on it. So I started working on it one day in the park with her. And it's still a little bit long, so she's got the sleeves rolled up. But this was a Carter's jacket. A Carter I I cut the tag off already. But the buttons still say Carter's. So Carter's jacket. Anyways, um, Carter's jacket. So the tag said Paige, who was like the girl who had it before. So I cut that off, obviously. Even though it wouldn't have mattered because once you see what I've done to this coat, it's not gonna matter that Paige had it before because now it's violets and everybody's gonna know that. So I started bedazzling and blinging it out. She was in love with these little crystals in my beading box because we went through and reorganized my beads this past week and she found these and she stuffed them all in her pocket of this coat. And I was like, okay, mommy's not using them so I will put them on your coat for you. So I started putting them on her coat. I started, as you can see, with sewing them but they're not really staying that well so I'm gonna go through and put some hot glue underneath to kind of keep them in place better but the stitching you can still see. And then I started doing some stitch work on the side here. I'm gonna do some more on the side over here. And then I'm going to probably put her name on the back of it up here, I think. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the center here. If I do anything at all, maybe I'll put some patches. I have some old fabric of hers from a onesie that I was kind of holding on to that um, was really cute. It, like onesies that said really cute things or had really cute patterns that I just was like, I can't get rid of these. I'm going to go through and of course take them all apart and put them on her jackets as patches going forward. So I, I'm not sure what to do in the center of the back here, but on the sides right here, we're definitely doing here and over here, this bling stuff. So I'll probably end up putting like her name up here and uh, maybe I'll just like hot fix little crystals in here or I want to I think I want to do patches I want to do something different from the last coat that she had I'll have to do a coat tour for her at some point because that's it's just kind of becoming a thing where I decorate her coats as she goes but that I'm so glad I found this <laughs> Go figure. I found this dress for me. This is actually a top. This looks like it's handmade. This doesn't, it doesn't have a tag on it. There's no labels, nothing to identify where this would have come from. And if you look really close at some of it, the stitching in the back and the kind of unevenness of this pattern is leading me to believe that somebody somewhere made this which is awesome because I love unique pieces and that's one of the things that I love about thrifting so this is like a shirt dress on me um, it's long and flowy it's really forgiving which is nice but the part that I really love is this detailing in the back how cool is that? And this was one of the things that I was like, hmm, this has got to be handmade. I'm not going to leave a $4 top there. Like, I don't care if somebody else made it somewhere. 
they left it there purposely for me to find. It's a little sheer, a little see-through as you can see when I'm holding it up, but I wear a lot of black. There'll be a lot of black underneath this, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. Then we have this right here, a duster cardigan. It's sleeveless. It is from Forever 21 and it was $2.49. This one's perfect. There's like, like you can see right there, there's a tiny little snag. But other than that, it is in such good condition. Perfect. So that'll go great with that top that I got. So I'll have a cute new outfit for less than eight dollars so thanks for watching this video and checking out my thrifting haul i'm gonna do a few more of these because i know you guys like seeing my thrifted treasures and i like sharing them with you guys as well so if you have a thrifting passion leave me a comment below and let me know one of your favorite finds and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more share this with a friend who you think would enjoy some of my thrifting finds thanks for watching